All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is High Ruler, and on today's video, we're going to be talking about City of Heroes. Yeah, the MMO that has been closed for many years now with private servers has an exciting new update to talk about today with you guys. Now, as many of you guys may have known, this MMO has been closed for years now with NCSoft closing it because it wasn't making them enough money. Now, that wasn't good enough for the community who have spawned numerous private servers for people to enjoy. This has been one of the craziest updates that I could talk about with regards to the MMO space because the private server Homecoming, which was the original private server that came up, has now acquired the license to officially host City of Heroes. Let's go over the announcement by one of their staff members and talk about what this means for the game moving forward. So in their announcement, they say, hello, everyone. We'd like to thank you all for your patience over the past few years, and we're incredibly thrilled to announce that it's paid off. NCSoft has officially granted Homecoming a license to host City of Heroes. They said, we'll have much more to share on this in the coming months. However, right now, we'd like to make a few things clear. Your accounts and characters are safe. Development of new content will continue. Homecoming will continue to be completely free, and we will continue to be funded entirely through donations. We'll be on hand in a thread to answer any questions you may have, so ask away. However, please be aware that we aren't able to talk about everything just yet, but we'll be sure to answer as much as we can as soon as we are able exciting times are ahead now they do have a little bit of a fact that we're going to go through and kind of dig through but this is unprecedented in the world of private servers for anyone who doesn't know private servers exist solely in the space of basically planned ignorance i guess right because if a ip holder knows you're running a private server they can send you a cease and desist and you have to comply now this doesn't usually happen unless one the private server gets really big and starts pulling away from the main game right they Think of some private World of Warcraft servers, or they start charging for access to the game. Now, with the City of Heroes private server, they were funded entirely through donations. They didn't ask for payment from anyone. It was entirely donations, which means that they were pretty safe for the basically whole time that they've been existing. But always when you're running a private server, you are at the mercy of the IP holder. So this is unprecedented. This is huge. And let's go through the fact now and talk about a little bit of what they have going on. So the first question is, what kind of deal is this and what does it mean for Homecoming? They say Homecoming has been granted a license to operate a City of Heroes server and further develop the game. Subject to conditions and limitations under the contract, but as between us and NCSoft, NCSoft still owns the City of Heroes intellectual property and its derivatives. Now, this makes sense. They're not just going to hand over the City of Heroes IP. They're just basically saying, if you guys want to host the server officially, here's the contract, here's what's going on, and you guys are free to do it as long as you listen to the rules and play the game that we want you to play, essentially. So this means that right now, you can play a officially licensed City of Heroes server. The next one, which is the big one, says, I'm new here. What is Homecoming? Can I play City of Heroes now? Their answer is welcome. Homecoming is an officially licensed City of Heroes server. And yes, you can play right now. Head over to the Getting Started page for information on creating an account and downloading the game. Guys, I will put this in the description down below if you guys are interested in getting started. Highly recommend this for anyone who plays MMOs. This was one of the greatest MMOs I've ever played. And honestly, I played it when I was younger and I would have kept playing, but I couldn't afford a subscription cost at the time. But let me tell you guys, City Heroes is so unique. So you're going to catch me on this. But let's go into the next question. The next one is, will Homecoming remain free and donation funded? Their answer is, we don't currently foresee any changes to our funding model as Homecoming is not required to pay any upfront or reoccurring license fees. We continue to be overwhelmed by the generosity of the community when it comes to keeping the server online. And I think this is a fair answer. I mean, obviously, whatever the deal is between them, you know, they're not having to, you know, ask people to pay to come in and play. They're just basically being like, yeah, like donations are cool. It helps. And, you know, we can keep going. Now, their next question is, are there any financial implications? And they say, yes, we anticipate that our overheads will increase slightly to keep up with our commitments as a licensee. In the short term, we'll be increasing our donation targets in order to build up a disaster recovery fund. This will be roughly equivalent to 30% of our annual costs. Additionally, we have some one-off legal costs for some of the updates to our consumer documentation, privacy policy, terms of service, etc. And they say, we're now free to explore alternate hosting options, which may alter our ongoing costs. Then, can NCSoft still demand that Homecoming shuts down? Yes, NCSoft has always had and will continue to have 
the right to demand that Homecoming shuts down. This agreement provides a framework under which Homecoming can operate the game in a way that complies with NCSoft's wishes in hopes of minimizing the chances of that happening. We've had a really positive and productive relationship with NCSoft for over four years now, so we do not anticipate there being any issues. Then they say, what does this mean for other servers that aren't Homecoming? NCSoft has granted a Homecoming a limited license. Other servers are out of scope. They then go on to talk about their work with some other servers, and they say that our hope is that our license will help us consolidate our user base with City of Heroes fans from other servers. Basically, it seems like if you're not on Homecoming, you want to be on Homecoming. This is going to be the place to go moving forward. Then they say, what does this mean for development? Will Homecoming be able to go open source? Development will continue. We'll be expanding the development team under the terms of the license agreement. We do not anticipate moving away from a closed source development model. Now, for anyone who actually doesn't know, Homecoming was actually developing new original content out of the scope of what they have, right? So they have the game as it was when it shut down the last day, but they were actually developing new stuff to the game, which is very exciting. So it seems like, and we'll talk about this a little bit further down, is that that is going to continue. So there will be brand new content coming to the game, which is very exciting. So then it goes on to say, what does this mean for live streaming and YouTube videos? Live streaming and YouTube videos gameplay footage on Homecoming will continue to be permitted. Monetization is also permitted, which is nice for, hey, people like me. But all video content must be free for the viewer to access, i.e. no paywall content. Which means, you know, I can't make this, you know, uh, members only. There's no Patreon stuff. So if you do make footage for Homecoming, it has to be basically public and, you know, open for everybody. So they go on to say that our code of contact applies to any video content created and we will take action against players who create videos featuring violations of the code of conduct, including those that feature or use third party copyrighted content. For more examples of what kind of content is permitted in City of Hero streams, please see our code of conduct. Will there be any changes to the code of conduct or term of service, which basically, yes, there will be some minor changes and some minor updates. Does this impact my ability to play the game? Will my characters be deleted? There will be no rollbacks or resets of any kind, nor will there be any real changes to our day-to-day -day operations. You can continue playing as you do today, provided that you do comply with our terms of service and code of conduct. However, we will be discontinuing support for tequila and similar launchers in the coming months, providing an in-house installation and patching solution as part of fulfilling our side of the license agreement. This was a key reason behind the development of the homecoming launcher. Will NCSoft have access to our personal data? They will not. Will management of the homecoming change in any way? They go on to say that yes, we'll be forming a new leadership group, the city council to head up the projects going forward. The city council will include the original homecoming admin team, representatives from other servers we've been working with, and a few additional members from our game master and development teams. Cypher will remain the project lead. Then they go on to say, how can I get involved? Which are going to be some links there. And then basically, that is it, guys. There is a lot of exciting things happening here. If you guys haven't played City of Heroes at all, and you've played something like DCUO, or you've played um, Champions Online, City of Heroes started it all. And I highly recommend you guys, now that this is more so official than any other private server in the history of private servers for you guys to go and play this now. This is insane. And honestly, this is very exciting. I'm actually going to go download it now and play it myself. And I highly suggest you guys do the same. This is probably one of the greatest MMOs alive. And for you guys who are superhero fans, you're missing out not playing this game. With that being said, though, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy, man. This is super cool. And if you guys do and you guys want more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave a nice little comment, and like the video while you're at it. And I'll see you guys next time here. Enjoy the rest of your day and the night. Take care. Take care of yourselves. Later, guys.